This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. The next night at uh, Nitro, which is a televised event, sir, the 31st from uh, Cincinnati, Booker and Sting are supposed to be the main event, but you wind up hurting Booker with a guitar shot and a figure four. And then you hit his wife with a guitar in the front row. Well, this feels familiar. Uh, Jeff Jarrett abusing women happened all over the WWF and now it's happening here, but guitar is now with, with people's wives, fans in the crowd. This is, uh, Queen Charmel or pre queen days, but Charmel. Yep. Yep. You don't remember all the women you've hit with guitars over the years. They just run together. I do, I do, do, but, uh, man, so Conseco Fieldhouse, And during that time, I think Larry bird was coaching, um, Isaiah Thomas. I'm just trying to think of the, I'm a big basketball fan, but that's all right. Um, I was, I was reminiscing about Conseco Fieldhouse, a beautiful, beautiful, um, Man, Conrad, when I think about all the buildings that are no longer around that I wrestled in, Montreal Forum, Boston Garden, Market Square Arena. Um, man, man. You've, killed, you've killed a lot of towns over the years. Look oh, at you. of course. Putting me right up there at the top. <laughs> you know, listen, we've talked about guitar shots. We've talked about down crowds. Uh, you and I have never talked about this on or off air, I don't think. But Mike Graham did an interview with the WWF years ago, and it became quoted everywhere. Uh, of course, Mike's no longer with us, so I'm not expecting you to heal on him, but I'm sure you saw it. He, uh, was very, um, expressive when he said, Jeff Jarrett broke, I don't know, something like 10,000 guitars, never drew a dime and did his head all crazy. Now, of course, I think it's easy to look at this sort of snapshot of WCW and say that, but you're not exactly out there wrestling yourself. WCW wasn't drawing with anyone on top, whether it was sting or it was Goldberg or it's Steiner or it was Sid or it was Booker, but that sort of became the in fashion thing. Let's dump on Jeff. He broke all these guitars, never drew a dime and you being, you just never responded to any of it. No shoot interviews, no books. Now this vehicle is really your first platform to address any of that because we are seeing a lot of broken guitars and you know, less than four digits of fans at some live events, but it's a little short-sighted for me to say, oh, well, that's all clearly Jeff Jarrett's fault. It's, so you have a, on these cards too. Sure. And, and a lot of other, you know, yeah. big, big top talent was, Yeah, but nobody said that about Booker T or Goldberg, but they did say it about Jeff Jarrett and it became the in fashion thing. And of course, most everybody listening to this is smart enough to realize when Graham was saying that you're running opposition, you're running TNA. So it's natural that they're going to, well, let's keep that in there. We're not going to bury our own talent on our own roster, but yeah, he's not, he's not here and pff, he ain't ever coming in. He's doing that other TNA stuff. Let's, let's bury him. So they did, but you've never responded to it. So here's, here's your chance. Isn't it crazy going into new blood rising? What I've ever thought, and we haven't discussed this. But I have been asked some different times. And so, well, Connie, I guess this is time to tell the story behind the story. And do you know who my father's, he had several mentors, Roy Welch, but you know who his favorite mentor was? Andy Graham. Okay. And do you know who that, who knew that more than anybody outside of Jerry? Mike Graham. Yeah. And Eddie really liked my old man. They had a real good relationship and it was a father son relationship. Look, my dad's dad went off to war and he didn't get killed. He came back to the United States, but didn't come home. So my father grew up with, grew up without a father figure. And Roy Welch was the old promoter in town who was Nick Gula's partner, but Eddie became really like a father figure and, and Mike knew that. So. Mike was never really a fan of my father and not to look, I'm well aware and I'm going to be diplomatic about this. I'm, I'm well aware of mental health issues, but, um, let's just say, uh, Eddie had mental health issues, took his life yeah, and Mike took his own life. And so a lot of 
can't speak for him, but a lot of baggage, but that goes pretty deep. Um, Mike did the hang around backstage at TNA multiple times and wasn't hired. Um, I was with Mike in the WCW days at, when he was a producer slash agent. And I could tell something was there that, that let's just say that that was, uh, that was a well-known unspoken issue that Mike's father was a really big fan of my, now I said big fan, but, but they had a professional relationship and, and, and Mike knew very well that, that my dad became a successful territory promoter and a lot of the tricks of the trade he learned from Mike's dad and Mike, uh, you know, their territory went away. Um, so I, I, there's a real deep side to that. So when, when that gif and, or whatever you want to say, that comment came out, I got it. You just sort of hit the nail on the head and, and no need to really get into that. I was, way on the outside. I was, uh, at TNA and rocking and rolling over there. And Mike, uh, created a great sound bite and, and gr great visual. And, but I've always had compassion because, uh, knowing the last several, knowing it, knowing his upbringing in the last years of his life and specifically as things went on and, and him coming and, you know, wanting to be a part of TNA and we didn't have a spot for him. And, and I don't know what happened to up with WWE, but I, I never got to this day. I never got upset, got, got had compassion for him, but that's the story behind the story. It, it, it still makes for a good gift. I'll say that. Yeah. I mean, we may actually do some drops on it right now. Right after he shows <laughs> back home. I love it. I, I feel strongly that saving money is important. You know, if it's not something we worry about now, boy, we are really going to worry about it later. And I want to help you get out of debt faster and do it with cheaper monthly payments. I'm talking to you. If you're in a 30 year loan, now is the time to take years off of your loan. We're routinely helping our listeners cut five, 10, even 15 years off their loan. And you can do this without perfect credit with no money out of pocket. You've just got to start at SaveWithConrad.com. Let's keep it rolling here and, uh, talk about how you're advertised and main events on some of the first live events, WCW's running that aren't TV tapings in close to a month. Red flag. You're, you're going to be in the main event against Booker T in Toledo and Dayton, or at least that's what you're advertised for. You're not actually at the show. Do you remember why you're not there? I, I don't. Um, I want to recall that that was a red flag. I also. What was the red flag that, that, that they took a month off a of live events? You mean? No, that I wasn't on them advertised oh. and I was pulled from them. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember specifically. I know that I, I did a track phone commercial. I was doing some different, um, licensee stuff that, that, I you know, I don't recall specifically if I got paid for those dates, but, but again, um, I had that deal that I was uh, so happy that I negotiated coming in that I got a, a, a great downside, but I knew the climate that, Hey, <laughs> guys aren't making house shows. Okay. I'll make every one of them. If I get paid, well, Bill Bush, no problem. I mean, you know, yeah, I'm talking to Bill. Okay. Just incentivize me to go and you can book me open end. Uh, I'm just leaving a company that I'm working 20 plus days a month. I'll be happy to do that. Just pay me. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you can notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.